Hello, 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 hello to the first semi-final of Quizzing with the Comedians. We started with 16 people and now we have eight. Okay, uh, the first semi-final will have four. Two of them will qualify for the final. This is a special Mela edition uh, where every question is from the world of music, entertainment, literature, arts. Let's begin. Let's begin the first semi-final. I'm going to call uh, the four semi-finalists uh, one by one. The first semi-finalist, give it up for Devaya Bopanna. What's up, what's up, what's up, Kiri? Hello, Dev. Hi, hi, hi. Congratulations on reaching the semi-final. Oh, that, that was today. close, man. That was that could have gone anywhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, thankfully, I got like a couple of sitters and uh, Kanan's uh, Vastu was bad, I think. So, uh, <laughs> managed to scrape through. <sighs> okay, uh, going to uh, the next contestant, next semi-finalist, is, uh, uh, came from the most closely fought uh, quarterfinals of all. Uh, but he scraped through uh, with a very, very exciting win over... The Panigrahi sisters. Uh, give it up for Kenny Sebastian. You know, you have lost in life if you have won over the Panigrahi sisters. So it's with deep regret. I, uh, it was a close match, but close match, as they were said. But I should have won. That's all I have. In life, uh, Biswa did win over one of the Panigrahi sisters. That's true. Huh? Come on. Nice, nice. That's Super. true. <laughs> Uh, uh, KV, uh, two points for you for uh, fun, fun part, fun, fun quiz master today. <laughs> also, one point each for us for her setup, excessive yeah. setup. <laughs> oh yes, yes. Uh, yeah, can't wait excessive. to uh, this podcast with uh, Kenny right now. <laughs> <laughs> we can all shoot one. <laughs> uh, talking about winning over someone whose win was my favorite win uh, from the four quarter fans, probably one of the best quizzing performances of all time. So no pressure. Uh, give it up for Precious Tisi. Wow. Ooh, yeah, Kenny, you missed it. <laughs> yeah, dude. What is this introduction? Damn. Yeah, yeah. It was yeah, like yeah. a great, great performance. Uh, wow. Okay. And on that note, uh, we are going to uh, uh, someone who uh, was from the quarterfinal that saw uh, Rohan Joshi uh, score 90 points. Uh, but he was not that far behind, to be honest. He had more than the other two contestants. Jesus. Combined. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> One second, you were you talking about setup, Kenny? Oh, <laughs> damn. Huh? Can okay, you beat okay. this 4K resolution on my Sony A6400? Okay, so we're just uh, making presses to feel bad at this point. <laughs> I also have a free Logitech, which I borrowed from Okay, Manila. fine. We're all good setup. I think the worst is Kumar then. <laughs> oh, man, what? <laughs> Arre, arre. Last two hours we have been trying to set Also, wow, th- that quiz is competing at 90 points. Okay, I feel very good about my quiz. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like I was talking to the bookies earlier and they said this semi-final, any two can qualify. It's one of those, like the most difficult to predict semi-final. The other semi-final is much easier to predict. Oh, like okay. at least one spot. Uh, this guy's compliments. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Huh. Yeah, yeah, I mean, like, KV is like all four of you are equally oh, competent. Yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, all four of you are equally good. Like, yeah, yeah. Yes. In terms of ranking, it's right there. Uh, let's begin. First question is for Devaya. Oh, wow. Right that was bad. Okay. Yeah. This is a visual question. Uh, look at uh, some guitars that you see on your screen and look at the resonators of these guitars, like the this part. Not the strings, essentially, the thing. And you just need to tell me what specific things have been used to make them. Okay. An extra hint is that a Caribbean country is very famously associated with the thing. Okay. So have a look. Um, See what has been, what do you think has been used to create these guitars? And hmm. Okay. Uh, Is it uh, the harmonium player, body of the harmonium player? Not the body of a harmonium player. Going to Kenny. Um, the bird houses. Not bird houses. Going to Prashasti. Um, okay. What things have been used? Caribbean country. Um, co- corals. Not corals. Going to Tanmay. They look like tissue boxes. No, little bit. Mm-hmm. Is Jamaica known to cry? No. <laughs> no. Only when Bolt loses, which never happens. But anyway. Ah. Is it the bongo? No. No. It's like one okay. musical instrument being used for another. No. Okay, we'll take one more round, make it a five point question. Uh, so the Caribbean country we are referring to is Cuba. 
Okay. Oh. So we'll start with Dave whenever Dave is ready. It's a uh, cigar box. Beautiful crack. It nice. is. Uh, these are guitar. Uh, the resonators are made out of uh, cigar boxes. Okay, they use cigar boxes. I mean, Cuba create. was a big giveaway. <laughs> But they name <laughs> one other thing from Cuba, Dave. <laughs> one other thing. Castro. Jeans. <laughs> ah, yes. Guitars are made of Fidel Castro. Well done. <laughs> uh, communist guitars. Uh, five points nice. to Dave. Next oh, directly. Communist be... guitars. All <laughs> all strings make the same noise. <laughs> <laughs> okay, going to Kenny now. Kenny, we are talking about a song now. The song took inspiration from a fire in the casino at Montreal, Switzerland, on December fourth, nineteen seventy-one. The band was going to start recording an album there right after a Frank Zappa concert, but someone fired a flare gun, which set the place on fire. The band watched the blaze from a nearby restaurant, and when the fire died down. what they saw on lake geneva from the casino gave bass player roger glover the idea for a song title which song are we talking about oh my god sound on london is it hot no can't be um hotel california Not Hotel California. Going to Prashasti. Is it we didn't start the fire? Not we didn't. Oh, start the fire. Dude, that's a good guess, man. <laughs> uh, Tanmay. Smoke on the wall. Oh, no, I see. Fire in fire the sky. Full time, my head is full. Tang, 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 tang. Nice and and yeah, and the lyrics of the whole song like refers to Lake Geneva, Frank Zappa, everything. And they literally saw smoke on the water, and that's how they created, like inspired them. Smoke on the water. Then they get sir ten points there. Smoke on the water is correct. Next direct will be to Devaya. Devaya, this is Roger Ebert's review of a certain movie. Okay, you need to identify the movie, and this is an excerpt from his review. In the middle of this epic film, there is a quiet, small scene that helps explain why X is such a remarkable experience. X, at the height of his power and fame, stands by the side of a lake with his wife of many years. Together, for the benefit of a visitor from the west, they reenact their marriage vows. They do it with solemnity, quiet warmth, and perhaps just a touch of shyness. They are simultaneously demonstrating an aspect of their culture and touching on something very personal to them both. At the end of the ceremony, X says, "We were thirteen at the time." He shrugs. the marriage had been arranged x and his wife had not been in love had not been old enough for love and yet love had grown between them but that is not really the point of the scene the point i think comes in the quiet smile with which x says the words at that moment we believe he is fully and truly human and at that moment a turning point in the film x declares that it is not only a historical record but a breathing living document Which movie are we talking? Gandhi. It is Gandhi. Great crack. Ooh, Ten points. Great crack. Wow. Great crack. Uh, talking about that scene of Gandhi and Kasturba. Uh, great crack. Superb crack. Dave gets ten points, and I go to Kenny now. Uh, we now come to literature slash movie. Pasternak's famous novel X that came in nineteen fifty five five was banned in the USSR for more than thirty years. The novel had to be smuggled out of the country to the west and was first published in Italy in 1957. An archive declassified by the CIA confirmed its involvement in publishing this anti-Soviet novel. In 1958, Pasternak was awarded a Nobel Prize in Literature, which he was forced to decline under the pressure from the authorities. The prize was presented to Pasternak's son Eugenie in 1989. Now there is also a movie based on the book. The movie version of X, directed by David Lean and distributed by Metro Goldwyn Mayer, was the second highest grossing movie of MGM after Gone with the Wind. It receives five Golden Globes, five Oscars, and is ranked as the 39th greatest film, American film of all time, by the American Film Institute. The name of the book, name of the movie is the same. We're talking about a famous novel from a Russian writer, which was banned in USSR. 
there was a movie adaptation that was wildly successful which movie slash book are we talking flew over the cuckoo's nest not one flew over the cuckoo's nest going to prashasti oh movie second highest grossing movie gone into when this highest grossing with inflation mm, till date pass <clears throat> okay prashti passes we go to tanmay now is it saving private ryan not saving private ryan going to dev it casablanca not casablanca no, uh, we'll take one more round and uh, start with kenneth uh the hint for the movie slash book is that it's a two word movie the first word is a profession and the second word is a name okay so the first word is a profession second word is a name dr strange love not dr strange love going to prashasti how about the doctor something only um pass prashti passes we go to tanmay munna <laughs> bhai hi is grossing movie of the one of the one for ngm ha ha ah this is one of those that when you tell the answer it's going to annoy everyone yeah by which i i'm guessing that devay also doesn't know <laughs> devay you know what i mean i have a guess let's see pass go for it passing to dev is it dr jivago it is dr jivago uh, points to dev I, do i, I get half it. points for doctor no <laughs> <laughs> i did think of that when you said doctor they do it with strange love I have not heard okay. of movie. Okay, we are talking about Doctor Shivago. Uh, David Lean, Omar Sharif was the actor, oh. and uh, yeah, they have got Doctor Shivago's next direct. Will come to Kenny. Kenny, the history of stand-up comedy can be traced oh, no. back to one of the greatest writers of all time. Okay, <laughs> who is X? We are talking about one of the greatest writers of all time. In some way, history of stand-up comedy can be traced back to him. Oh no, oh, he is no. often he is often credited with being the first. to perform the act that would go on to become known as stand up this is because during a bout with accumulated debt he decided to travel around the country and gave humorous lectures to large crowd basically standing in front of them and making them laugh he even created the term bit in reference to a short comedic premise for when he decided to tell only a small part of a story who are we talking about so we're talking about obviously of- russell peters <laughs> 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 Obviously, this is he is the father of all comedy. Uh, yes. Okay, this is very sad because I don't know, and it's, it's I should know this. I didn't even know this is true. Like one person started. Uh, I'm gonna take a guess and say Homer. No, not Homer. Prashasti. Oh, who? I'm so glad Kenny didn't know because now, uh, for us, come bura lag raha hai na. Yeah. Oh, uh, I don't know. Is it is it Lenny Bruce? Not Lenny Bruce, Tanmay. It's I just know it's not a popular comic, is it? KV. I don't think. I think it always happens like the. Yeah, but the question you say it is one the of the greatest writers of all time. Yeah. Okay. Uh, oh man, is it PG Woodhouse? Not PG Woodhouse, Dave. No, okay. Woody Allen, not Woody Allen. Okay, we'll take one more round, starting with Kenny. Oh, so Kenny I was a little of... back dated. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, little. Yeah. <laughs> Lenny Bruce, Homer, merely. Uh, little in the middle, middle somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the hint for all of you is think awards. Okay, think of uh, award, and then think of stand-up comedy and comedy, and if it reminds you of a famous writer. Mm. Also American, extra hint for all. Okay, I think I know who you're talking about. I'm just trying to remember his name. I know. You know. I know. 
Mm. But just pass it. If you don't remember, just pass. No, no. I just want to show people I know. <laughs> he, ho- he hosted the Oscars the most, I think, and he was an actor also. No chance. No, this is wrong. Okay, on the wrong. Uh, so, okay. Sorry to be such a dick, Kenny. I'm just I'm bullying your thought process. No, no. At least. <laughs> it's, okay, I'm gonna guess at least. Mm. The greatest writers of all time. Shit, man. Awards. Shit, dude. Can you say the hint again? Sorry. Mark? Yeah. Uh, the one hint I gave all of you was awards. Think awards. Like think of stand-up comedy, comedy, and think of awards. And also American. And greatest writers of all time. Can you don't guess Dead Ant? Ah, because it's not. <laughs> <laughs> Of all time. <laughs> mm. I'm just going to say, I mean, I don't know. Older than Pryor and Carlin, I don't know. Or Lenny Bruce, and then there's who's who's, who's left. But don't. Ah, okay. Uh-huh. No, no, no. Don't, don't help me. If you you know the answer. Okay, I'll just say some shit. I'm going to say Larry David. <laughs> no, not Larry David. Going to process the. Kenny. <laughs> I don't know it yet. I think Russell Peters is my best answer. Russell Peters was a really good answer. Uh, Come on, Prashant. See, Tanmay knows. So just gotta. It'll be hilarious if I get it wrong now. Yeah, I'm hoping Tanmay gets it. Awards wrong. and what? Oscars? He was at that, na? I mean, how? But आदमी का नाम भी तो आना चाहिए ना? Uh, I just. Uh, This is wrongest guess possible, but I say Charlie Chaplin. <laughs> Not Charlie Chaplin. Going to Thunder. So good. It's Mark Twain. Mark Twain. It is Mark Twain. Oh. Five points to Thunder. Mark Twain. Uh, Dave Chappelle won it last year. Yeah, Dave Chappelle. Mark Twain. Wow. Mark Twain award, yeah. correct. Wow. Yeah. Mark Twain. Every comedian goes viral trying to accept this award, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Mark Twain. Mark Twain Prize for American Twain. humor. It's named after him because he's considered oh. to be the pioneer in mm. humor. Uh, and yeah, mm. uh, Dave Chappelle won it. Letterman won it. Julia Louis Dreyfus. Ellen. Someone Jones dropped it, no, on stage. Who dropped it on stage and it broke into pieces? Will Ferrell. Five to Tanmay. Okay. Uh, cool. Okay. Uh, since Tanmay got Mark Twain, next direct will come to Dave. Uh, X was tried for sodomy by the father of his lover, Sir Alfred Douglas, at the age of forty-five. After attempting to sue John Douglas for libel. He was convicted of sodomy in 1895. He was sent to prison and forced to do hard labor. Here, he contracted meningitis, which ultimately led to his demise. Despite having a reputation for being a writer, X only published one novel throughout his life. The novel is called *The Picture of Dorian Gray*. It was met with critical reviews due to its decadence and homoerotic content. Today, the novel is widely taught in schools and revered for its Uh, dedication to the aesthetic movement of the 19th century. Uh, who are we talking about? Hey, fuck, man! I've read a few pages. I know who this. I know. Ah, Oscar Wilde. Oscar Wilde is correct. Great awesome. crack. Awesome. Great crack. He's written a long like novel. Oh. I love how the question ended with who. Huh. Who? <laughs> <laughs> who? I, I, I when I didn't before I went to the second paragraph, I was like, yeah, the picture of Dorian Gray. And then you said that, and then I fuck, I blanked out on the author. How could you have time to read this and Pink Villa at the same time? Can you explain? How do you know Oscar Wilde and fucking what went they, on with Mali today? They go for the same emotion, Tanmay. <laughs> okay, Oscar Wilde was answered by Dev, which means the next direct will be to Kenneth. Uh, Kenny, Joaquin Murieta was born around 1829 in Hermosillo, Mexico. Murieta faced racism from white Americans, which caused him to rebel against society and its rule. Murieta had become a folk hero, a dashing romantic figure that swore to avenge the atrocities committed upon his family, and who committed his many crimes only to right the many injustices against the Mexicans. Now, the antics of this Mexican is believed to have inspired John McKelle. and thus a character based upon him first appeared in a short story called the curse of capistrano in 1990 okay there is also the book cover of curse of capistrano tell me which character are we talking about essentially joaquin morieta inspired another character 
there are hints for Joaquin Murieta. Which character do you think was inspired from uh, Joaquin Muri Murieta? I have two guesses, and mm-hmm. the other guess I don't know the name. So I'm just going to say Mask of Zorro. Zorro is correct. Ten oh, points there for Kenny. Just Zorro. Uh, the character inspired from him was Zorro. The other one was that I am something something. I have come to avenge my father's death. Who's that? Batman. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> one point. Can we give yourself one point? <laughs> hey, a Batman is inspired by Zorro. <laughs> oh, see, yeah. there we go. This uh, is Antonio Banderas, no? Yes, man. Yes, yes, yes. Antonio Bandera West. Yeah. No? कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ एक्चुअली आर्ट एंड फिल्म बिकॉज दिस इज अ पेंटिंग दैट इंस्पायर्ड सर्टन समथिंग सो द पेंटिंग दैट यू सी ऑन योर स्क्रीन इज कॉल्ड दी एम्पायर ऑफ लाइट It's the title of a succession of paintings by Rene Magritte. They they depict the paradoxical image of a nocturnal landscape beneath a sunlit sky. Right? You see the, the sky is sunlit, but niche raat hai. One of the most famous scenes in the first movie of a film series, as well as the shots used for the posters and covers for DVD VHS releases, were inspired by this painting. Later, when the director was asked about this, he replied, "I saw this painting in the Museum of Modern Art in New York." it's called empire of light by rene magritte i had that in mind and i chose the house to match the magritte painting the street lamp the shaft of light what i want from you is tell me what is this iconic scene or iconic uh, scene from a movie that's not just not just the scene is pretty famous but the scene was also used in the movie's poster and like dvd releases covers etc 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 okay And this is a film series you're saying one is a it's also a series but i would like one hint for all of you is don't think of as a big franchise movie so don't think of uh, okay yeah but there are other movies in that series okay but like don't focus on series much understood um is it before sunrise Uh, not before sunrise, going to Tanme. That was going to be my guess. Was she close? Uh, no, oh, I she was. Say. She was. No, no, no. Uh, no. Uh, I was going to guess before sunrise, but now I don't want to guess it. I seen this somewhere. <laughs> pass passing to dev uh, pass man passing to kenneth roman show not roman show okay we'll take one quick round starting with prashti uh, the hint for all of you think horror okay. think horror mm. uh, think of like very iconic legendary horror f- film Love. Now I'll give five points just for the movie. Okay, no need to tell me the scene or any other detail. Oh, oh, oh shit! Where does he see it? No, ah, uh, like it, which film? Which screenplay. Scene? Okay. <laughs> just the Page. film name will be fine. And hint is supernatural horror, etc. Et is it the exorcism mm. of Emily Rose? No, going to Tanmay. Ah, uh, is it the Shining? Not the shining. Go to Chet, going to Dave. Evil Dead. Not Evil Dead. Going to Kenneth. Actually, I want to modify Precious Jones. The Exorcist. Yes, that is what oh, we were looking for. We were looking answer. at the <laughs> legendary Father Merrin's arrival scene in the Exorcist. Exorcist, which is an uh, like a direct inspiration from the painting, and this is what you find on all Exorcist poster and DVD covers and everything. Uh, five points to Kenny, a classic 1973 iconic, The Exorcist. Uh, Kenny gets uh, five points there. So this direct will be to Prashasti. Uh, Prashasti, Michael Lee Bush, along with Dennis oh, Tompkins, 
and one other person had successfully filed a patent uh, uh, listed on 25th august 1992 okay and there is image from the patent application so that basically explains what the patent is all about the need for this invention was to create an optical illusion during stage acts okay all i want from you is that who was the third co-inventor of this patent oh okay Um, the need for this invention was to create an optical illusion during stage arts. Who was the third co-inventor? Mm-hmm. Someone whose name I'm guessing is popular. Nineteen ninety-two. Really cool question, dude. Yeah, it's hurting my. This skin. question has seen so many changes while making. Ah, uh, because, because every, every, every time you are like, is this too easy? No, is it too tough? Is it like, what's the sweet spot? Can we do now? I think so. shit. Oh God! No, um, I just take a guess. Nineteen ninety two. My phone दिमाग लगा रहा था. Nineteen ninety two. That's such a good. God, I have like I'm not even like uh I have no idea. <laughs> that is the the dilution of all human achievement. कौन दिमाग लगा रहा? लगा रहा था. Was it like uh, Steve Jobs? Uh, not Steve Jobs, but going to Tanmay. It's Michael Jackson. Ah, oh, goddamn! It is Michael. It's a smooth criminal. Smooth criminal, anti-gravity shoes. Okay, God this is this wow. is one photo from the patent that uh, I have removed, uh, and this, of course, is the legendary anti-gravity shoes. So if, you, if you look at the if you look at the image, this is basically explaining the shoes and the sole and everything yeah. of the shoes, and of course, the third. Applicant was Michael Jackson. Then we get ten points there, and I go to Dev now. Uh, we come back to India now. Uh, we are talking about an area in Mumbai. Okay, X is an area in Mumbai which is surrounded by several markets such as Crawford Market, now known as Jyoti Bhai Phule Market, and other small markets. Quite appropriately, then the British refer to the area as behind the dash, and the dash literally means market. Okay. but perhaps and this is one of those things that you and i learned while making this quiz perhaps the most interesting fact about this area in mumbai x is that it lends its name to mumbai's only indigenous musical gharana okay so like we know how we have jaipur gharana and like gharana the named after places okay started by three b- brothers in the 19th century its style like the gharana style is widely appreciated and has given the world several illustrious singers including of course the nightingale of oh. india lata mangeshkar Just tell me which gharana are we talking about? Or just tell me the area in Mumbai that you think we are talking about. And there are enough hints in the first para to deduce the area. Uh, we'll start whenever they be ready. Tell me what does a gharana mean? Gharana essentially talks about uh, it's it's like जैसे आप अलग अलग houses होते हैं ना जैसे मान लीजिए Harry Potter में ऐसा just mm-hmm. random. स्कूल You know, just rock. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like uh, he comes from this school, and that's why his style is style. He comes from here. His style is style. Um, Mumbai. 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 Mumb
Uh, what a great crack this is almost jack the triple uh, level from quarter final uh, superb uh, because uh, this is again something i learned i always assume bendy bazaar refers to like bendy ka bazaar types <laughs> but i realized uh, the british started calling it bind the bazaar because it was behind many bazaars and then oh. it gradually became bendy bazaar bazaar was a big clue right even i thought bendy yeah. bazaar yeah. so it is bendy bazaar gharana and uh, Yeah, Bendy Bazaar Gharana is also a a Gharana in Indian classical music. Cool. I think that brings us to the end of the first half. We'll quickly do a score check and see uh, where everyone is. And fifty percent of the quiz is left, so no stress. Uh, we start with Dave. Dave got five for cigar boxes, and then he got ten for Gandhi, five for Doctor Zivago, ten uh, for Oscar Wilde, and again ten for Bendy Bazaar Gharana. So Dave right now is on forty. Wow. Okay. Damn. Kenny, Kenny got ten for uh, Zoro. Zoro, huh? Zoro, and he also got five for Exorcist. So Kenny is on fifteen. Oh yeah. Uh, Prashti is yet to open her account, but fifty percent left. So you never know. Uh, and, and unlike general edition, uh, two people qualify. Just a reminder for our group. Uh, Tanmay got ten for Smoke on the Water. He got ten for Mark, uh, five for Mark Twain, and then again ten for. uh michael jackson so tanmay right now is on 25 so right now devaya is leading with 40 followed by tanmay on 20 close <laughs> kenny on 15 and prashti uh, on 0 but we'll start the second half now second half the order will be tanmay prashti kenny and dev tanmay is your direct cat shit one is a three volume manga series written and illustrated by motofomi kobayashi the manga follows three american soldiers who are anthropomorphic animals in the vietnam war named botaski perky and rats there are sections of the manga which give uh, brief history and truths behind the war such as the types of weapon used by different countries and the activities of forces in the war now we come to the fun part of the question for the us release when they want to release cat shit one in the us cat shit one was retitled as x which is a two word answer as a parody to the title of another film another very famous iconic film Uh, which also took place during the vietnam war okay so let's look at the question again we are talking about a very famous vietnam war based movie and we are talking about a manga series called cat shit one so when cat shit one was releasing in the us they changed the name of the movie to a parody the title of another famous film so basis all the hints think of a famous movie and think of what that word play or what that parody would have been okay so this is one of those things that you deduce um Yeah, it's a two-word answer. Take your time. Um, uh, I don't know. Pass. Passing to Prashasti. Is the title of the film that it was parodied on is called Apocalypse Now? Okay, so if that movie is Apocalypse Now, think of what could be the word play, something funny around it, parody which involves. I mean, you know the plot. And yeah, yeah, the, yeah. Hmm? Apocalypse now. Ah! But I mean, you only got part points, no? Because you guessed the movie. Oh, I just forgot. Yeah. What? So I think this is something that I'm totally missing. Uh, I think it was saying no. It was not. Apocalypse now. So think of apocalypse now. Think of cats, and think and tell me what would be the parody yeah, or wordplay around apocalypse now. Because you only got part points. It's okay. okay. Yeah, got it. Kate. I think yeah. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so hint for everyone else. Prashti is right. The blanks are apocalypse now, and she will get bulk of the points. Uh, I'm going to Kenny to see uh, if you guess. can figure out. Yes. Is it apocalypse meow? What a great answer! <laughs> <is> apocalypse meow. <laughs> it is apocalypse meow. And I was going to uh, say apocalypse now, but I think meow is a better point. Yeah, oh God! Yeah, yeah. That's why you were like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, you used to brush your teeth. I thought I'm taking too much time. <laughs> that that was the truth, though. <laughs> I was like, don't, don't guess, don't guess. <laughs> 
Oh man, this yes, is great, always great. the congrats the on your one decision. point. <laughs> hey man, I lost by three points in the last quiz. So it's close. It's close. I mean, they were and me just few points apart. <laughs> Two answers apart. Yeah. Okay, I'm giving seven to Prashti because he's going to get seven now, questions. Sorry. Was the right like right track, and Kenny gets three for Apocalypse Meow. Um, and which means next direct will be to Kenny. Uh, Kenny, this is your uh, your question. In uh, the nineteen ninety nine TV movie based on this nineteen forty five book, Patrick Stewart voiced Napoleon, while uh, Julia Louis Dreyfus did Molly, the mayor. Other stars included Kelsey Grammer as Snowball and Ian Holm as Squealer. Tell me the book that we are talking about. Wow, what a star cast, dude! I got confused because Snowball is in Stuart Little also. Um, but this is the nineteen forty five. Nineteen forty five. Is it Pig? Uh, no, not Pig. Going to Dave. It's an Animal Farm. It is Animal Farm. Oh, I meant to say Animal yeah. Farm. Yeah, I was like Pig. I Fuck, waited it's called for a Animal Farm, not Pig. <laughs> Oh it is. We're talking about Animal Farm. These are all characters. There was a pig on the cover. Can he? Yeah. No, because there's a famous line. You uh, you did well, Pig. Right. What is that? All, I think all animals are the same, yeah. but some pigs are equal. Something like some that. Some shit like that. So I just same, thought pig. Some pigs pig. are more equal. No, all animals are equal. Some are more equal than others. Correct. Okay. No, but I, I know yeah. it is called animal. Yeah, I know, I know. But uh, yeah, animal farm is correct. They were open nuggets. Ten points. Next direct will be to Tanmay. Uh, Tanmay, this is your direct. X is the sole actor to be nominated for exactly one Academy Award. Over four consecutive decades, okay, she won for 1977's Annie Hall and mm. lost for 1981's Reds. Fifteen years later, she received her third nomination for Marvin's Room in 1996, and her last in 2003. Something's got a gift. Tell me the actor that we are talking about. Is it H- Helen Mirren? Not Helen Mirren. Prashasti. <laughs> Okay, it's what I give. I think I have. I I can ask the you. <laughs> okay, just pass. Passing to Kenneth. Man, I know her face. I uh, seen Annie Hall. <sighs> She does now all these romantic films with Jack Nicholson. Ah, uh, man, I don't. I have no idea about her name. I pass. Okay, going to this. Meryl Streep. No, not Meryl Streep. Not Meryl Streep. No. Ah. Uh, Okay, we'll take one more round. Uh, starting with uh, Tanmay, the hint for all of you would be the Godfather. Really? <laughs> Man, I've literally not seen any of these movies. Why am I such a gawar? Pass, pass. Uh, okay, uh, Prashasti. Then Judy something Judy. Or something. Is there no. Are you thinking about Judy Dench? No. Not British. Not. Uh, Kenny. I don't know her name though. Okay, Dave. Pass. Uh, cool. No stress. We will close this. The answer is uh, Diane Keaton. Diane Keaton. Ah. ah. Comes in. Uh, had an iconic pairing with uh, uh, with Woody, Woody Allen, Allen for many movies. And yeah. of course. Uh, Does it hurt you, KV, when no one gets the answer? Do you feel bad? Little bit, little bit. I feel. You feel like how did I not predict that no one would get this? No, no. I thought someone would, uh, but yeah, no problem. Uh, since no one got it, the question. Sure, Dan ag- Keaton also. Again, again. <laughs> yes. Nobody remembers me. <laughs> Four nominations <laughs> across yeah. decades. What should yeah. I do? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, this will again be Tanmay's direct since no one got it. Tanmay, we are talking about a certain cocktail. One theory tells us that the cocktail may have been invented by a bartender at Chazen's, a restaurant in West Hollywood, California, to serve her. Okay, so her I've removed. It is a non-alcoholic mixed drink, uh, traditionally made with ginger ale and a splash of geranium, garnished with a maraschino cherry. Modern version of this cocktail recipes may substitute uh, lemon lime soda or lemonade, and sometimes orange juice, in part or in whole. These cocktails are often served to children. Dining with adults in lieu of real cocktails, and us are the similar Roy Rogers, Arnold Palmer. Is an image also if that helps. Which cocktail slash mocktail in some sense am I talking about? 
her, no? Serve her. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Some lady. Um, is it the Monroe? Yeah. Not the Monroe. Going to press this. Another Monroe. Some Margarita. Uh, no, going to uh, Kenny. I have two guesses. But mm -hmm. uh, if it's her, then it has to be a famous name. So I'm mm -hmm. going to go with Audrey Hepburn. Not Audrey Hepburn. Good. Shit! Pass. Okay, we'll take one more round, make it a five point question. See, the big hint here is that it is non alcoholic. Okay. It was, the legend says that it was made to serve her. So she was popular enough. But they made a non-alcoholic drink for her, which means she was a kid. Okay. And it is, uh, these cocktails are often served to children dining with adults. So we are talking about a legendary child actor. Okay. So we are, don't think of uh, Hollywood legends of like adults, so to speak, like Marilyn Monroe or Audrey Hepburn. But think of someone who was huge child star, never became a huge adult star, but in the 30s. And we've all heard of the name, maybe, I guess. But like she was so popular that she, I mean, they even gave her a juvenile Oscar because oh, they, shit. she could not be nominated as a, as a lead actor, but they, they, she was so popular in the thirties that uh, they gave her an honorary Oscar as a kid. In the 1930s. In the 1930s. Or in the 30s. 30s. <laughs> I thought in her thirties. I think yeah. Aki Oscar Milan, she's the youngest one to get an Oscar, right? I think the same. Maybe yeah, she, as an adult, she didn't have a successful uh, acting career. She did a lot of other things like. Humanitarian work and like etc. And, and diplomacy. Et Very nice. <laughs> proud, I'm proud of her. Nine times. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. And this mocktail is named after her. Do, you, uh, do all four of you want another hint or should we take one round? So, uh, last name. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is a very strong hint. Like, but okay, okay. So we'll wait. I still don't know. I'll pass. Okay, passing to Prashasti. Uh, I know what parties Kumar Varun goes to <laughs> where all these fancy drinks are served. Oh, I have read so many menus because I remember the price of all cocktails. And I don't remember any named ones. You know, I don't know, baby pinky, baby sarika. <laughs> ba one baby sarika, please. <laughs> baby Nitha Singh. <laughs> oh, God. Baby Nitha Singh, baby sarika. Maybe good too. Pass. Okay, passing to Kenneth. Bloody Mary. Not Bloody Mary. Dave. Pass. Okay, no problem. The answer is Shirley Temple. Oh, oh my God. God. Wow. <laughs> la la la. <laughs> Shirley Temple. Shirley Temple is a mocktail, of course, famous child actor. Uh, cool. Uh, we go back to Tanmay again for the next question. Uh, Tanmay, uh, this is a painting. The painting is called The Wedding Feast at Kana. Okay. The Wedding Feast at Kana from 1563 by a painter called Paolo Veronese. Now, this is a representation painting that depicts the biblical story of the marriage at Kana. What is this wedding more famous for in gospel? Okay. Essentially, this is a biblical wedding that we are talking of, but we all know another reason why this wedding is popular. Uh, what happened in this wedding? What is the importance of this wedding uh, that is o being shown in this? Only in this wedge wedding. was served. <laughs> is this the wedding where? Uh, is this question for Kenny? Yeah? Kenny, you should know all this. Dude, you know, all Christian questions I get wrong. <laughs> yeah. So You'll probably get it right. Is this Mary Magdalene's wedding? No. It's really bad. I don't think she ever got married. She didn't get married. Okay. No. Anyway, that was my guess, Kiwi. Sorry, what did you say, Tanma? Nothing. I didn't say anything. <laughs> <laughs> I just said pass. <laughs> I said okay. okay. No, I said, okay. is it Mary Magdalene's wedding? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay, yeah, no. no. Uh, going to Prashasti? Um... Uh, uh, uh. 
is this like the first uh, christian wedding in the sense the first time christ tina marries <laughs> abel first official christian wedding <laughs> approved uh, by parents no. <laughs> not the first official christian wedding going to kenneth i didn't know this is this where the last supper happened no it's not the one where last oh. supper happened going to okay. devaya is it the oh. wedding where jesus turned water into wine beautiful oh, wow. beautiful wedding as jesus tradition goes i get uh, the christian thing wrong <laughs> <laughs> which is also considered to be the first miracle uh, by jesus jesus turned first water into wine first miracle was his hair like how does he make that <laughs> Jesus turned water into wine. Jesus' first miracle happened at the wedding. This wedding, great, great. Somewhere Jesus is not rolling in his grave. <laughs> He's alive and well. Yes. Okay, Dave gets a ten on this. We come back to Tanmay again. Uh, Tanmay, we look. Dave, just I think you can leave now. You <laughs> <laughs> can a... politely leave the quiz. I'm not getting anything. <laughs> That's why it's coming to me. <laughs> looking at a two word answer this is a 1988 indian hindi language film produced by naveed and uh, produced by naveed naveed uh, <laughs> naveed <and directed>, produced <laughs> produced by naveed and, uh, and directed by jagdeep the movie is about a small business owner who wants to distribute all his wealth to humanity his trust and innocence is taken advantage of by the people including his step brother who keeps taking his claim on behalf of his inheritance the film was not about box office success but relatively it did relatively better in a state situated in central india okay so two word movie jagdeep central india small time businessman which film are we talking about there was a time pass passing to prashasti जगदीप नावेद अपना बुगियों की वाला नावेद है ना जगदीप अपना भोपाली ब्यूटीफुल क्रैक इट इज सूरमा भोपाली ओके सेंट्रल इंडिया भोपाल डिग्निटी पॉइंट सूरमा भोपाली सूरमा भोपाली कैरेक्टर मांच Oh. Uh, and uh, produced by Naveed and Javed, we all know Boogie Boogie, sons of uh, Jyoti. Okay, with that we come to the last lap of the quiz. Uh, last four questions, deciding questions. Uh, there is, <laughs> of course, Dave with a massive lead, but for the second spot, uh, it is a close game. It is a really close game. Okay, Dave, you can leave if you want. <laughs> if you have other stuff to do, have a lunch. Just go ahead. We'll tell you what happened. <laughs> I'll see you in the semis, in the finals. But I think if Prashasti gets one question right and the other two don't, I think she qualifies. Right? Yeah, it's it's any anything can happen right now. Right now, just just for everyone's info, uh, Kenny is on eighteen, Prashasti on seventeen, and Tanmay on twenty-five. So Jesus, it's, it's all there. It's just one question here. मुझे तो अपनी नजर लगी है मैं बता रही हूँ कल कुछ ज़्यादा मैंने उछल लिया. No, no. Prashasti got Surma Bhopali, which means this question will be Kenneth's. X was considered for the role of detective John Kimball in Kindergarten Cop but producers went with a more obvious beefier action hero choice mm. Arnold Schwarzenegger however the two would go on to co-star in the hugely successful comedy Twins who are we talking about okay i hope i got the name right is it Danny DeVito it is Danny DeVito oh, 10 points there for Kenneth it is Danny DeVito the answer is correct it is Danny DeVito Okay, Kenneth gets ten points. We go to Dave. Uh, Dave, I'm talking about a certain TV show. Uh, though the show aired from 1990 to 2010, so almost 20 years, it wasn't exactly an Emmy favorite. Okay, X won six Emmys in its lifetime, four of which were for technical categories like cinematography and sound editing. Only one performer won an acting Emmy. 
Elaine Stritch from 1993's Point of View. So Point of View is the episode. The series only earned the Outstanding Drama Series Award once in 1997. Consolation Prize, it did win five Golden Globes for Best TV Series Drama and stars Michael Moriarty and his character is Executive Assistant District Attorney Benjamin Stone. Actor Sam Watterson, his, cat, his uh, character is Executive Assistant District Attorney Jack McCoy. They won Golden Globes for their performances in 1994 and 1995 respectively. Which show are we talking about? So the timing of the show is given enough hints in terms of character names, etc, etc, etc. Just tell me the TV show that we are talking about. The X-Files. Not X-Files, going to Tanmay. Why can't I remember this? I know the sequel, like spin-offs yeah, of the yeah, show. Yeah, there was. A, I know yeah. there were spin-offs of the show, but I don't remember. I know the names of the spin-offs, but I can't remember the. Uh, Say the names now. Uh, is it private practice? Not private practice. Going to Prashasti. Shit! I thought I'll give you. Um. What is the spin-off? Then why do you remember? I know. <laughs> don't know <do> this. <laughs> I know the spin-offs, but I don't know the original. Is it Boston Legal? Uh, not Boston Legal. Oh shit! That to... is my guess, dude. <laughs> okay. Boston to Legal. Kenina. It didn't last twenty years. Hmm. Okay, I think this is an Aaron Sorkin show. Uh, I think so because he usually wins all his technical awards. Twenty years, dude. What the hell? Is it Law and Order? What a great crack! Oh! Is Law and Order ten oh. points to Kenny? <laughs> It There's so many special seasons. victims unit and all that. Yeah, 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 that's what I thought. Uh, yeah. SVU is the Law and Order special victim unit, but Law and Order Oof. ran for twenty seasons, nineteen ninety to twenty. Absolute guess, dude. Because <laughs> if, if uh, presses, if you not said Boston Legal, I would have said because I love Boston Legal. William yeah. Shatner. Yeah, but and all. Boston Legal won't win drama series. I don't know. Hey, why, I dude? Know. They sat in the balcony and spoke every yeah. end of episode. Yeah. Dude. That but, is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah uh, great great crack by kenny 10 points there law and order is correct uh, now i go to dave dave it is widely believed that edward hopper's 1925 painting house by the railroad influenced the design of the house okay so there's certain house that i'm talking about now more hints about that house the influence building is situated approximately 20 miles from the town of farewell california on an old highway where it had an adjoining house set on a higher ground behind the main office and cabin where the person lives in solitude with his mother okay now we are talking about obviously this house comes in a movie so this movie took inspiration from the novel of the same name that has been praised as a major work of cinematic art by international film critics and scholars due to its slick direction tense atmosphere and impressive camera work essentially talking about a great movie highly critically acclaimed movie slick direction tense atmosphere impressive camera work that movie uh, takes its inspiration from a novel of the same name and one big part of the movie is around a building which is 20 miles off uh, farewell california on a highway where uh, someone lives in solitude with his mother and there is a main office there are cabins and there is a house behind it what do you think we are talking about Pass. Passing to Tanmay. Is it Birdman? No. Not Birdman. Passing to Prashasti. Major work of cinema. Person lives with mother. This is camera work. Mm-hmm. Just to clarify this, sir. Uh... The character also lives with the mother, right? In the movie. In the movie. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. yes. Mm-hmm. Okay. This could be anything. Uh, could be anything. Yeah. Um. I wish they were and then maybe said some name so we could have cancelled that out. Chumma, they said pass and fuck it up. Okay, press. Um. Okay. Pass. Uh, going to Kenneth. The only reason I'm going to say this movie is because mm-hmm. the only movie I can remember that mm-hmm. it's old, had mm-hmm. good camera work, and lives with mm-hmm. his mother, psycho. 
that is correct it is oh, same points to kenny we are talking about bates motel uh, we are talking about norman bates i thought it was uh, shining or joker also oh, technically yeah. cuz he lives with his no it is uh, 20 miles of california that's where the she bugs tries to stay there norman bates is the guy and bates motel was the motel mm. and uh, bates motel was inspired from that painting and norman bates cycle. okay yes norman bates got it got it Okay, Kenny gets a uh, ten points there for Psycho, with which we go to the last question. Uh, that will be uh, Dave Derek. Dave, as a schoolboy, young Zamenhof started trying to fashion an international language. Okay, he believed if people spoke the same same language, they would understand each other better, and the entrenched hatred between different groups would melt away. He continued his linguistic work, and in Warsaw in eighteen eighty seven, he published a forty page booklet in Russian. on his international language under the pseudonym dr dash which literally means dr hopeful which became the language's name okay what is this language which is the most widely spoken constructed language in the world so essentially some a school boy young boy thought that if the whole world could speak in one language mm-hmm. it will solve a lot of issues so he started making his own language uh, which till date is uh, the most widely spoken constructed language what is the name of the language What is constructed? Morse. Sorry, Dave. Morse Morse code. Not Morse code. Going to Tanme. What is constructed language? Is it allowed to ask that? Man-made, no. Ah, uh, yeah. Essentially, a modern man-made man-made language, and not one of the classical languages. Because no, okay. I thought all languages are man-made. Uh, I think constructed, as in, okay, fine. I think that might give the answer. As in constructed by a guy, like you can't really say like. Oh, one made. person got got a yeah. garden. Sorry, sorry. I don't know. Is it Klingon? It's not nice. Not Klingon. Uh, Prashasti. Doctor Dash over there on my which name? Pass. Okay, going to Kenny. The only language that is constructed and I hate as a child is the P language. Is a P language? Uh, no, no, it can't be P language. <laughs> <laughs> we'll take one more round with Dave. Uh, the I mean, if I can give more hints about the language, but I don't think that will be helpful. That there are around thousand native speakers and it's an auxiliary language, etc. Oh. So I'll make it simpler. Uh, the language starts with E. Okay, E for egg. Okay, E for echo. Uh, and spoken by thousand people, you said. Yeah. Now we can say that there are uh, around a thousand native speakers also, which is crazy. Wow. Thousand starts with E. Do you guys also want the last letter? Will that be helpful? Yeah, okay. if you're giving all four of you. Okay, <laughs> last letter is O. So it starts with E, ends with O. Wow. Pass. Uh, going to Tanme. Pass. Prashasti. E and O. E. E or O? Sick. What am I doing? Oh, what is this? O is what? What am I doing? So doctor. Ilu. <laughs> Eduardo. No, I don't know. Pass. Uh, Kenny. Uh, okay. Embargo. Uh, no, okay, no stress. Uh, the answer is Esperanto. Okay, so either you know this or you don't know. That is that kind of a question. Esperanto is a universal language where they have like one word for things. It's obviously derived from many languages. So, if, for example, pig is called porco, uh, baby or animal baby farm, elephant. Yes, <laughs> Esperanto. Esperanto is the answer I was looking for. Uh, yeah, quick look at the score. Uh, Dave had forty in the first half. In the second half, he Housing. got. <laughs> he got animal farm ten points, and he got Jesus water into wine the first miracle, so twenty points. 
uh, they've got uh, 60 total okay 60 uh, Kenny had 15 in the first half. He got three for uh, Apocalypse Meow, but then he had a series of 10 pointers with uh, Danny DeVito, Law and Order, and Psycho. So 33 in the second half, which means. You have any shame about Kenny? <laughs> Dude, I. Shame. You know what's funny? All this stuff I read, I got all wrong. I got Christianity wrong. <laughs> and all these random questions I just gave. Uh, also, to be honest. Sun, you got Christianity wrong on a Sunday, Kenny. That's like. <laughs> oh my God, it's a Sunday also. <laughs> Dude, I got which uh, yeah. river was uh, uh, Jesus baptized yeah. on. That's how wrong. <laughs> Everyone remembers. Very first edition. Very first <laughs> edition of Quizzing with a Comedian. And now, as a, as a cruel joke, Kumar Oran always puts one Christian joke. <laughs> Whenever I'm doing. <laughs> to be honest, if you guys hadn't cancelled out, I wouldn't have guessed Lawn. I was going to say Boston League. So. Okay, Prashti didn't have anything in the first half, but she got uh, seven point uh, apocalypse uh, now slash meow. And Surma Bopali 10 points. So she has 17 total. And uh, Tanmay had the reverse. He had 25 in the first half. Didn't get anything in the second half. So Tanmay ends on 25, which means the winner of the first semi final is Devaya Bopanna. And the runner up, and who also qualifies for final, uh, is Kenneth Sebastian. My first time. Nice. It's my first, first time. Yes. Uh, yes. First time. Your first final. Yes. Yeah, I've never yeah. reached finals. Oh, yeah. nice. Yeah, dude, I prepared also today and nothing else. Uh, <laughs> so, so, so I'll tell you. So there, Rohan wins. Yeah, yeah. The best. Is, is Shakya there this time? Shakya is no, not there. I thank think. God. So that least someone for seconds. Yeah. Someone for seconds. Yeah. Some normal human being can be second. <laughs> yeah. No, it, it's like F one. We ignore the first one. Like Rowan is not considered. Correct. <laughs> like obviously yeah. Hamilton or Mercedes will win. Who okay. cares? <laughs> cool. I would like to uh, thank uh, Prashti first of all. Uh, what a I like I said earlier, her quarterfinal performance is one of the best performances ever. And I'm gonna go see and, it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Please, please. And of course, massive thanks to Tanmay as always. Uh, Tanmay, thank you for being here. And uh, I will see Devaya and Kenny soon in the finale.